Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedi again. Today we're going to keep working on our Cubase video tutorials. And today we're going to learn how to set up a monitoring um, routing, or I guess you could say a control room monitoring situation in Cubase. Okay, um, that's part of the audio connections window that we've been studying. And today we're going to talk about that feature. Okay, so let's go ahead. Uh, I'm going to go open my Cubase project it's right here. And I'm going to go ahead and open Studio Audio Connections. Okay, so uh, the very last step, it's called Control Room. So by default, um, if, if you just create your pair of outputs, like a stereo out, uh, yes, you're going to have audio out of Cubase. And that at some point will get to your monitors or, or to your headphones. And yes, you'll be able to listen to it. But that's a little, that's not enough, okay? Uh, Cubase gives you a the possibility of creating an actual co control room uh, routing scenario that resembles the, I guess you could say, like a monitoring section of an analog board. Um, if you go here to your right side of the project window, the the right area, uh, you got you know VSTIs, media, and then CR control room. It says it's disabled. Now, if you could enable it here, or you could go back to Studio Audio Connections. You go to the very last tab, control room, and here it says enable disable control room. I'm going to go ahead and enable it. Now, um, once I enable it, you see some stuff showed up here, right? Um, so that tells you you just enable that, but you still have to create your monitoring. So you see it says bus name. There's nothing. There's no speaker, no audio device. There's nothing really on this list. So if you right click, there's an option that says at monitor. So if I click at monitor, uh, I'll just label it default monitor one. Let's just leave it in stereo. Okay. And now you see monitor one left and right. Still audio device. It's not connected. So we need to click there. And once again, select your interface. In this case is a revelator a revelator ASIO. And now you see that my monitor monitor one, which is left and right stereo. It's associated to playback left and right from my revelator device. Now, why do I do this? Because I want, once I do this routing here, this, uh, when I assign these here, now my control room here in my right, right hand side of the window, uh, now all of these features that you would typically find on an analog board, okay, in the monitoring section, like the control room level. So imagine that big knob that you used to have in your boards. Uh, now you have it here. You have a dim button, so you could dim it. Uh, you can use a reference level, okay? You can so that'll shoot some reference level there. Uh, you can activate or, or I guess engage or disable the metronome. Um, you can do you know down mix presets um, and so basically, and you have some meters here, right? You got some meters. Now you can also add inserts to your monitors. So imagine like inserts on your main bus which is something once again that you would see a lot in analog boards. Do you need this to work? No, you could just use what we had before, just a standard pair of outputs, but this will give you a more pleasing, I guess more, more like a studio experience, if that makes sense. So that's the control room um, monitoring section in Cubase. Um, we're going to keep working, as I said, on audio connections and things like that nature in Cubase on our next tutorials. So stay tuned. And if you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs and we will be happy to help you. We will see you soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this or using that or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well, then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.